Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how to model all the top 10 most common roof shapes in Revit. Now before we get started I would ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I create daily Revit tutorials. Okay, for the first roof I will be modeling the basic shed roof, it's the most simple shape so here I have basically four walls and I'm going to go to level two and let's create our roof. So I'm just going to go here roof. I'm going to go with the rectangle tool with an offset of one meter. And I'm just going to create a rectangle like this. And then as you can see, all these sides have this little angle that you can change. So I'm just going to select three sides and I'm going to uncheck this defines the slope so only one side will de define the slope and for the slope I'm going to go with 20 degrees okay and I'm just going to finish this go into back into 3d and here we have it so I'm just going to select one wall hit tab select all of them go attach top base and there you go a simple shed roof in Revit okay for the second one we're going to go with the classical gable roof so I'm going to go to level 2 come here go roof again I'm going to go with a rectangle and with an offset of 1 meter so I'm just going to select here and here and then I'm just going to select these two sides and uncheck the defined slope these two I'm going to leave at 30 degrees go finish go into 3d and there you go. Now I'm just going to select one wall or basically hover over one wall, hit tab, select all of them, go attach, attach top base and there you go, a simple gable roof in Revit. Okay, continuing in the gable roof theme, we're going to create a gable roof with an extension on one side of the house. This is called a gable roof with a cat slide. So I'm going to go to level 2 and here I'm going to go again with the roof command with a rectangle with an offset of one meter and I'm just going to create one rectangle here and one over here and then I'm going to delete this line over here and I'm going to use the split line tool to split it here and then using the trim and extend command I'm going to trim it like this and then I'm going to just select all these lines and uncheck the defines slope. So we only define slope on this side and on this side. So I'm going to select these two sides and I can change the angle to, I don't know, maybe 20 degrees. Go apply and when we go into 3D it looks like this. Okay, now we can hover over one wall, hit tab to select the whole wall and attach top base to, to our roof. And there you go. Okay, our fourth roof is the Gambrel roof, so I'm going to go to level 1, and this one is a bit different as far as modeling goes. First we need to create a reference plane in the middle, and then we need to name it, so let's name it just roof. And then we need to create a section, so I'm going to place one section over here, and I did this because this will be a roof by extrusion. So I need to pick a plane, so I'm just going to go OK, pick this plane, go into the section, place it at level 2, that's fine, OK. Now we need to start modeling. So I'm going to place a line like this so I can find the midpoint of that line and bring it up a bit. So this is basically the midpoint of our roof. So I can go like so and basically model the side of the roof. Once you've done that, just mirror this line around, select this middle line, delete it, and that's pretty much it. Now we can go into 3D and you can see it went all the way out. So just here I can set it up at, I don't know, maybe plus 7 meters and minus 7 meters. Go apply. Yeah, that looks about right. So now I can select all these walls and connect them to the roof. This will be a clear story roof, which is kind of a cathedral type roof. So I'm going to go to level 2, go into the classical roof command, go with a rectangle with an offset of 1 meter, but here I'm just going to place it from here to here, but before I click at the end point I'm just going to tap space and then 
click it. So now this is one meter inside, maybe move it to 1.5, I don't know, maybe it looks a bit better. And then I'm going to move this up to the sides, yeah, maybe bring it in a bit, 1.7, let's say. And the same on the other side, 1.7. Okay, now I'm going to select these two lines and uncheck the defined slope. And let's leave it these two at 30 degrees, go OK. Now I'm going to go again to the roof command, create another rectangle starting from here to here. I'm going to select all these lines and uncheck the defined slope and this I leave at 30. Go apply. And then I will mirror this around this middle axis. So I'm going to be using the draw mirror tool. So I'm just going to mirror it. And now let's create a section to see what we actually modeled. And there you go. Now I'm just going to bring this roof up a bit. So I'm just going to use the move command and move it like so. Yeah, that looks about right. So now when we go into 3D, it looks kind of like this. So we can select all walls and go attach, attach top base. So we need to do it for one wall first, then for the second wall, or basically for a second roof, and then for the final roof. Okay. And then you would actually need to model one roof over here on the side and on the other side as well. Now we're going to create the hip roof, that's the easiest one to model, so I'm going to go to level 2, go to the roof command, just hit the rectangle, offset by 1 meter, one click, second click, done. So now when we go into 3D, there you go. Now I just need to select all walls, so I'm going to do that, attach top base, and there you go, a simple hip roof. This will be a half hip roof, so I'm going to go to level 2. Again, same thing, roof command, go with the rectangle, offset 1 meter. And once you've done that, you need to go to reference plane, and we need to create two reference planes over here, like so. You select one, and you set this at, I don't know, 1.6, and set this one at 1.6 as well. Just make sure that it is symmetrical. Then I'm going to use this split tool and split this roof at those points, or basically these roof lines. Now I'm going to select these upper and lower roof lines and uncheck the defined slope. And here I'm going to leave the defined slope, but for this offset, this basically brings it up in space. So I'm going to offset it by one well, let's just offset it by one meter. Go apply, OK, and now when we go into 3D, it looks like this. So that offset is basically from this point to this point over here, that's one meter. Now we just select the walls, go attach top base, and there you go, finished. So this will be the Dutch gable, it looks like a gable roof with a little skirt around it. So I'm going to go to level two, I'm going to use the roof command, Again, rectangle, offset 1 meter, go around, OK. Now I'm going to put the offset at, well, let's leave it at 1 meter. Do the same thing, just hit the space key and finish it. And I'm going to select this inner, these inner lines and uncheck define slope. And I'm just going to finish edit mode. And let's go to site plan. Now I'm going to go again, roof at level 2, yes, and then again I'm going to use a rectangle, place it inside, select these outer lines and go uncheck the defined slope, finish it, ok that is done, now go into a, a section, so I'm just going to create a section over here, open it up, and you need to select this roof and move it with the move command a bit up. So now I'm going to go into 3D, and it looks kind of like this. Now you just select the walls, go attach top base, boom, done. This will be a cross gabled roof, so I'm going to go to level two. Again, simple roof command, rectangle, offset one meter. So I'm just going to create it like this and one smaller rectangle over here. Now I'm just going to delete this point, 
use the split element tool to split it over here and the trim and extend tool to connect these. I'm going to leave everything at 30 degrees oh it escaped and then just hit finish go into 3D and there you go it's the simplest roof to make and I'm just going to select everything and go attach top base and there you go and for the final roof I will be modeling the butterfly roof so I'm going to go to level 2 I'm going to create a reference plane like so and let's just name it number 1 okay now I'm going to create a section like so and double click the head of the section to open it up and now I'm going to open up this roof drop menu go by roof by extrusion and I'm going to pick a plane by name so I'm going to go with plane 1 okay and now I'm just going to create one line just to have a center so the center is here so my roof will go something like this then I can draw a mirror around this axis over here delete this line and go OK now I'm just going to go into 3D again it went all the way out so I'm just going to type in here let's go from minus 5 to 5 go apply yeah maybe pull it in a bit like so okay that looks quite nice now I can select everything go attach top base do that and there you go a butterfly roof okay those were the top 10 most common roof shapes modeled in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already like and share this video leave a comment below if you have anything to comment on this video if you have any suggestions for future tutorials or if you have any questions thank you for watching and have a nice day